Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this tomato tartata. It's really nice and easy and sweet, it's vegetarian and it's perfect for a really light lunch. You start off by adding about two tablespoons of unsalted butter to a pan and let it melt before adding three finely sliced onions and a little pinch of sugar and tossing that all together. Then you're going to let it fry for 15 to 20 minutes until the onions become caramelised and soft. Once they're nicely caramelised, you then add a little bit of water, about two tablespoons, to deglaze the pan and get all that stickiness up so they can be incorporated into the onions. Once that water has thickened and reduced, you can take the onions off the heat and store them in a bowl to the side. Then, in an oven-proof skillet or casserole, you add a quarter cup of sugar and three tablespoons of water and gently shake the pot to help the sugar dissolve. This is so that we can make a light layer of caramel that will go on top of the tart once it's inverted. Cooking times at this stage will vary. The recipe that I'm following says five to 10 minutes before you get caramel, but it's all about the color at the end. It took me way longer than that, closer to 17 minutes actually. And that's because I had a really, really heavy base uh, saucepan there. And also I was too scared to have it on high because I'm very nervous about caramel. So I had it on low and I would watch it like a hawk for about a quarter of an hour. A pan with a light colored interior is really good for identifying when caramel is cooked because when it's light color, you can see the color change as it happens and it goes from clear to a light amber. It would be a lot harder to pinpoint this moment in say a black frying pan. You can see there that after about 10 minutes, it's really, really reduced and thickened and it's bubbling now. It's really, really hot to so be very careful. What you're trying to do is dissolve the sugar in the water and then once it's dissolved, you're trying to evaporate the water so you're left with just the liquid sugar and you want that to burn or caramelize and turn brown like it's starting to do about now. I couldn't wait any longer, so once there was even the hint of amber, I added the vinegar. I added two tablespoons of balsamic and let it all bubble up and reduce and incorporate into the sugar until I was left with a really, really syrupy brown caramel. Then I added a small handful of Kalamata olives that were chopped and pitted and straight away took the pan off the heat. Then you add about a pound or 500 grams, however much you like, of cherry tomatoes or a mix of small tomatoes. I use baby plums and cherries here. Use a mix of colours if you like, I just made sure that they were in a single even layer on the bottom. Be careful with using your hands like I did, you don't want to burn yourself. Then you scatter your caramelised onions over the top, spread them around evenly so they cover all the tops of the tomatoes. If you're making this ahead of time, this is a really good time to just stop what you're doing, set it aside until about an hour before serving. So then I covered it with a sheet of bought pre-rolled puff pastry because I'm really lazy. It didn't quite fit my pan, so I just squeezed it out until it was just about covering it. If, if you want to roll it out, that's fine, but I just squeezed, I just pulled it and tucked all the loose edges in next to the tomatoes and cut off the slack and tuck the rest of it in. Remember once this is baked it's going to be inverted so you want to tuck everything in so you'll kind of create this concave surface, something that will really hold all the juices that are rendered out of the tomatoes and onions as it's baked. Then you want to stab the pastry a few times to let the steam escape as it's baking. Then place into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about half an hour. Or until it's really nice and golden and the caramel is bubbling away and then let it stand cooling for about five minutes. So after five minutes you place your inverted serving dish on top of it and very carefully but quickly invert the whole thing. Um, you need to be very careful and quick about this because there's hot caramel inside in the tart and you don't want it spilling, going everywhere. Then tease the pan off the tart. Be careful to shake loose anything that may be stuck to the bottom of the pan. And there it is. Immediately before serving, I crumbled over about 70 grams of goat's cheese, followed by a good handful of basil leaves. Then I redistributed to share the wealth. And that's it. 
you're done. Thanks a million for watching. If you like this video or any others, be sure to subscribe to my channel below and check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. And for the full recipe, go to my blog, www.rookiecook.org.